we showed how we like to, out, to sit outside, and we're not talking about how we want to move yet. We'll get into that in a little bit, but we're going to demonstrate how we want to do a back set. So a lot of this stuff, actually, how we take the ball and everything, sets us up really well for the back set. That's one of the reasons why I like to take the ball high, and we almost want to be leaning back as we set this ball. So let's, uh, let's just demonstrate a couple back sets, and we'll talk about it, okay? Watch that ball. It's good. Good. So you'll see that when we set this, we want to get a separation again. We still want to get that same separation from hip and shoulder. None of that changes. And in fact, where we take the ball, it doesn't change. What we want to change is just where we finish our hands. So everything that we do, we want to keep as simple as possible. The whole technique as far as how we move to the ball, how we do everything, it's going to be the same, not just because it makes it more de deceptible, although uh, that's not our main goal. Our main goal is to set good balls. Uh, but it also because it makes it more repeatable. We want to be able to repeat this set, especially in the setting position. And so we want this to be the same, where we're taking the ball high as we would on a, on a go with a torquing motion like we had. And then all, the only thing that changes is that we finish the target with our palms outside, or we finish the target with our palms going backwards. So I see a lot of this when we set back. We want to see them finish with their palms to the target when they set back. Really good. Good exaggeration. So have her set that back. Good. We want to make sure both hands are finishing. Yeah. So you'll see there's still torquing motion. And then we want to finish with the finish to, to the spot where we want the ball to go. Good. One more time. Okay, let's get Andrea up here and we'll we'll see how she does on this. We we've progressed so far with her where she understands the torque again, she understands how to catch and throw. So we're going to keep her in this as we do the back setting right now. So all I want you to do is this. I'm going to throw you the same kind of ball I threw you before. I want you to get that same torquing motion now instead of throwing it to the outside. I want you to just throw it back. Okay, so here we go. So you tell me yes or no if you do the right torque, if you get the torque. Just catch and throw. Just catch and throw. And take your time, okay? So let's get that torquing motion. Get that torque. So the, the twist, like the whip. Good. Keep your feet underneath you a little bit now. Okay. One more time. Good. So she has the she has the 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 torquing motion or she has the whip motion. Now, when you're taking this ball to set back, you're setting up for the back set. So I want you to keep your hands like this, like we talked about. And then I want you to finish it over and I want you I actually want you to fire it back as fast as you can, okay. leading with your palms. So throw it and throw it back as fast as you possibly can. Okay. Yes, really good. That was excellent like that. That was good. So we'll watch out over here for the people that are sitting behind us. But that is absolutely what we want you to do right there. Okay, so same thing. Good. And you'll see, I love this right now. You'll see that she has a great torquing motion. And then that she's, she, because she keeps her shoulder back. And then as the energy comes up, does that feel pretty strong when you yeah. throw it back? The energy comes up, she can fire that ball back. And all she's doing is redirecting the ball. So one more time, let's watch this. Good. Again, yeah, we can keep that one. Let's try now. Instead of that flat, just a little bit higher, okay? So when we talk about setting, you don't set the way you, you don't change the way you finish. You just change the trajectory that you set out. So right now, you're, this is your trajectory. This one, make it this, uh, like a 45 degree angle instead of a parallel to the floor. Good. Now let's, now let's focus on finish with both your palms at that spot. Good. That's really good. Again, get that torquing motion. Good. Now I want you to try, your, when you do this, you're kind of leaning back in your step, and I want you to keep your feet underneath you just a little bit more, okay? Yeah. Much, much better. Good. One more time. Good. And now, that's, this is how we want to teach it. But we want to go faster and we want to pick up the tempo on it, pick up the tempo on it, pick up the tempo on it. You saw where Alex is. That's where we want to get is. We want to get to where Alex is.